Hi, in this video, we're going to show you how to add some live or animated wallpapers to your uh, Windows desktop background here. And you could even use YouTube videos, you could use your own movie files, animated GIFs, and that kind of thing. So to do that, you need to go to the Microsoft Store and do a search for Lively Wallpaper, then just install it. It should say Get or Install, something like that. And then once you have it, you could just find it in your Start menu here, open it up. And now it'll come with a bunch of built-in wallpapers that you could use. And let's say you want to check one out first. You click on this preview button. So it'll load a preview for you. And then you can just close it out and, you know, after you check it out for yourself. And then if you like it, you could click on set as wallpaper. And now it's in the background. Here's your wallpaper. And then you can go back here and click on Customize. Some have customization options, some don't. Like if you want to change it to a rainbow color and then increase the speed. And what else? Let's check out this one here. So this one's kind of cool because it follows your mouse around as you're moving. So that might get old after a while, but it's kind of cool at the beginning. And then once again, Customization options, you know, quality and whatever these are doing here, pressure and you turn all that up and so on. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I have a YouTube video here. I'm going to copy this link here. I'm going to go to add wallpaper and I'm going to paste it in here. Okay, so now you'll still be a green bar down here as it loads, and you'll have to wait for that to be done, and then you can click on OK. And if it has sound, it'll play the sound too. So there goes the green bar at the bottom. All right, so like this was a 4K YouTube video, but it doesn't look 4K in the video, so your results may vary on how, how well the YouTube videos look. So it's kind of cool you could have that in the background. And then also if you want to add your own video file, if you click on browse it'll tell you, you could browse to the file but it'll also tell you what kind of files it supports here. So you could open one that way or just drag your file in there. And then once again wait for the green bar to go across. So now you got that video going there, and if you want to, you know, get rid of it, let's say you don't like it, you could go to the three dots, delete. So what I've noticed it'll do sometimes, it'll just kind of leave like a residual freeze frame of where it was, but then you could easily just go back to something else and set as wallpaper, that kind of thing. And then up here you have some active wallpaper settings so if you have multiple screens you could duplicate it or span the wallpaper and that kind of thing but I only got one screen so I can't do anything different there and then there's a bunch of settings you know start with Windows if you don't want to have to start it manually have this the system tray icon down here uh, it's fast startup if you want to change the theme of the app itself it's using dark by default you could change it to system theme or light volume levels Performance settings, so if you want to have it, you know, do nothing or pause when you're using battery power on your laptop, remote desktop, that kind of thing. Uh, some appearance settings for the wallpaper, plugins, system. This is kind of cool because you can actually change the uh, taskbar to match. So if we pick wallpaper, it'll kind of try and match the theme, or you could even do clear. So it's kind of cool. Cool way to customize your Windows taskbar at the same time. So then when if you're done, you could just kind of go here, you could right click, you could change it, pause it, close it, open it, exit the tray down here. So if we click on close wallpaper, so you see it kind of just left this freeze frame. So you'd have to just right click and go to personalize and then, you know, change your wallpaper back to whatever it was. So it's pretty cool. So once again, just go to the uh, Microsoft Store, look for Lively Wallpaper, download it, and then you can start playing with all the settings and see how you like it. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.